Всем привет! I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 97. First up, an exciting preview feature. The new recorder panel allows you to record, replay, and measure your user flows. Open the panel via more options, more tools, recorder. Let's start a new recording by giving it a name. Well, I'm going to use emojis here. I like espresso, so I'll add it to the card. Hmm, flat white is nice too. Let's add that as well. Take a look at the recorder panel now. All our steps are recorded real time. Now, go to the card to view your order. Let's add one more espresso here and stop the recording. Let's click on the replay button to verify the recording. Nice! Imagine you can record and replay your critical user journeys just like that every time after product release. Not only that, you can edit the steps, export the user flow to Puppeteer script, and measure the user flow in the performance panel. Go to goo.girl slash devtools dash recorder to learn more with the step-by-step -step tutorial. Next, more modern devices are now added in the device list. Toggle the device toolbar, click on the device list. Newer devices like the iPhone 12 and Pixel 5 are now added to the list. Next, the edit as HTML now supports autocomplete and syntax highlights. In the Elements panel, right-click on an element and select Edit as HTML. Try adding a tag or an attribute. The autocomplete provides you suggestions on what you are looking for. Next, an experimental feature. You can now sync Dev2 settings across devices. No need to redefine the settings again and again. To enable that, Make sure your Chrome Profile Sync is on. Then, open the Dev2 settings and scroll down. You can view the Dev2 Sync status here. The Dev2 Sync is enabled by default when you turn on Chrome Profile Sync. You can click to disable that. Most of the settings are synced, except for the Workspace, Experiments, Devices tabs, and a few other general settings. Here is a bonus tip. You can fix the panel layout if you find the auto rearrangement doesn't suit your needs. For example, the Styles pane in the Elements panel will be moved to the bottom when the screen size is too small. You can disable that via Settings, Panel Layout, set it to Vertical. Try to resize the panel now. The Styles pane position is fixed. All right, there are more new features in Chrome DevTools 97. As usual, go to the video description for the link to my blog post and other information. Thanks for watching. See you in four weeks for Chrome 98. Bye.